Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Gordon Sullender coming at coming to you again from my YouTube channel. Uh, I hope you had a good weekend. Uh, the weather was pretty nice here in Dublin. Uh, we've had a lovely spring, and uh, it's just really nice to be able to go outside. I know we're still in lockdown, but uh, you can still go outside and run or cycle, or do a bit of exercise, and uh, take a walk uh, uh, in your neighborhood. And you know, um, it's just. Uh, it's just a beautiful time of the year, weather-wise, and uh, I hope I hope you uh, enjoyed the weather wherever you are. Um, I um, I've come up with a, an, an idea that I hope to be able to to continue throughout the year. Um, uh, last night I, I spent a couple hours going through the uh, the New Testament and came up with a, ten questions uh, based on, on on the New Testament, some some Bible quiz questions. So. I'd like to start the week off every Monday with uh, a quiz uh, of Bible and uh, Catholic uh, Catholic uh, catechetical knowledge. So um, if, you, if you'd like to play along with that, you can put your answers in the comment section uh, of the YouTube channel. And uh, I'd like to, you know, maybe uh, let people test themselves and see what they can do. So... Uh, as soon as I, I'm going to start with a hymn, an Easter hymn, and then uh, I'll go through the questions and I'll post the answers uh, on uh, on Wednesday. So I'll give people a couple days to uh, to try to come up with some of the answers. So it'll be a, maybe a weekly thing every Monday, hopefully uh, a quiz, a Bible quiz, scriptural and Catholic faith quiz. This is called Alleluia, Alleluia. Give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, give praise to His name. Jesus is Lord of all the earth. He is the King of creation. Alleluia. Alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, give praise to His name. Spread the good news o'er all the earth. Jesus has died and is risen. Alleluia, Alleluia. Give thanks to the risen Lord, Alleluia, Alleluia. Give praise to His name. This uh, this morning session with a second part. So the, here is the, the the ten question Bible quiz that I have composed for this morning, and I'll read off the questions. And uh, I didn't make it multiple choice, so you have to you have to do a bit of research uh, to find the answers if. Uh, you can't guess. You either you either do the work and you figure it out, or you maybe know the answer right off the top of your head. So the first question of the Gordon Sellender Bi Monday Bible Quiz is number one. As we all know, there are four gospel accounts of the life of Jesus. Which of them is the longest in terms of the number of chapters? Which of the four gospels has the most chapters or is the longest. Number two, in the opening two chapters of the Gospel of Luke, <coughs> excuse me, we hear three canticles or songs which are sung by three holy people. Who are these famous biblical singers? There are three. Number three, in chapter five of Matthew's Gospel, Jesus proclaims his Sermon on the Mount and it begins with the eight Beatitudes. In Luke chapter 6, we hear a, another account of the sermon, which is given on a plane. How many Beatitudes are listed in Luke's Gospel? Question number four. In his three years of public ministry, how many people did Jesus bring back to life from the dead? How many people did Jesus Christ raise from the dead during his public ministry? Question five. 
When St. Peter cast a line into the sea to catch a fish for Jesus, what was the coin that he found in the fish's mouth to pay the temple tax? What was the coin that Peter found in the mouth of the fish he caught for Jesus? Question number six. A few days before his passion and death, uh, Mary, the sister of Martha, who in my humble opinion is also Mary Magdalene, anointed Jesus with a, with a costly aromatic nard, a perfumed nard. How much was this nard worth that Mary used to anoint Jesus on his before a week, six days before his passion? Question seven. What was the last miracle that Jesus performed before his death on the cross? What was the last miracle, physical miracle, Jesus performed on his way to the cross? Question number eight. As Jesus died hanging on the cross, he prayed these words, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Which of the Old Testament Psalms was Jesus praying when he said those words? Number nine, in addition to his gospel, John also penned three letters and the book of Revelation or Apocalypse. Name two Old Testament books which are also referred to as apocalyptic. These are two books in the Old Testament that also are considered apocalyptic literature. What are those two books? Question 10. How many disciples were gathered in the upper room on the day of the first Pentecost? How many disciples of Jesus were gathered in that upper room when the Holy Spirit came down on that first Pentecost? And a bonus question. In John's Gospel, we hear it, John records Jesus revealing his identity using the words, I am. He uses the words, I am, several times in John's Gospel to identify himself. How many times does Jesus use this divine name uh, to identify himself? Uh, and uh, they're in several places in John's Gospel. So those are the questions for, for the first Bible quiz that I'm throwing out at you. I really, I really hope you and you take a little time to uh, ponder those questions and, and maybe do a bit of scripture study yourself uh, every week. It's good to to, to open the Bible and, and to delve into its mysteries. And uh, Saint Jerome, the great teacher uh, who translated the Bible into Latin in the in the in the three hundreds in the fourth century. He lived in uh, the, la the latter thir 30 years of his life in a cave in Bethlehem. During that time, he, he basically took the whole of the Old and the New Testament, Old Testament being written in Hebrew and the New Testament in Greek, and he translated those, those scriptures into a very, a very readable form of Latin, which is called the Vulgate, which was used in the, in the church up until the 15th century, all Really, every every Catholic uh, priest and every Catholic uh, religious who who knew the Bible would have uh, had a translation that was based on the Vulgate. So um, anyway, do do he? But Saint Jerome said the very famous words: "Ignorance ignorance of Scripture is ignorance of Christ." So we all need to 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 really constantly uh, renew our our biblical knowledge and uh, and deepen our love for the Word of God. Uh, I finish with another hymn, uh, another Easter hymn, uh, which uh, hopefully uh, hopefully will uh, give us a, a little bit of joy this morning. Okay, this is in Latin. This is, a, this is in Latin, and uh, it's called uh, Surexit Christus. Surexit Christus, which means Christ is risen. And it's... Um, it's a Tese Chan.
tuning in, folks. Uh, I really, really am glad that I have a few people there that are, are interested enough in, in some spiritual uh, help these days. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm so happy to, to, to provide a, a few videos every so often for you. So please keep tuning in and uh, leave your comments. And, and if you have the answers to some, to some or all of those questions, put them in the comment section uh, of my YouTube channel. Thanks very much and have a blessed day.